come downstairs right now. There's something you need to know. Let me guess. I'm even more grounded, right? No. You have enough with the grounding time that I gave you last time. And also, I'm in grounding you. Wait, really? Yes, you are. I'm giving you a second chance. You are now ungrounded for life. Yay! I'm finally ungrounded. Thanks, Dad. You are so kind. You're welcome. And for this, we are going to a very special place. Wow, that's very cool. Where are we going? I'm not telling you. It's a surprise. Just close your eyes in this moment, and remain them closed until I tell you. Okay, I'm ready. All right, let's get in the car. Here we are. Now, open your eyes. Wait, school. I thought that I got myself banned from every single school in this country. Yes, we are at school. And yes, I lied to you all the time. You are still grounded, and you still need to go to school. But Dad, that's not fair. You know that I hate school. And why am I back at school in first place? Well, just one week after you got yourself expelled from school, a government minister called me and Elena. He told me that your school situation wasn't as dangerous as they expected. So, you are authorized to come back to school. But before, me and Elena paid $500 for this authorization. Well, I guess I have to deal with this. Even then, this is not the school where I usually go. Of course. He also told me that you need to go to this school for naughty kids, just like you, until you graduate. That's what I can see. I hope it's better than my usual school. Maybe it's not better for your liking, but of course it is for me and your mom. Wait, what do you mean? In this school, you need to go from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day, including weekends and holidays. And also, there's no computer class, music class, no recess and no kinds of games. And the cafeteria also serves two meals lower than 100 calories every day with no dessert. And luckily, you will have no homework, but very intense schoolwork instead. That's what I am afraid of. I think that I don't want to go to this kind of school after all. No, sir. I don't care. That's what the minister said. Now, take your backpack and see you tonight. Well, I think I must enter to this school after all. I hope that I can even meet a good friend in this place. Good morning, class. This is our new student, Dora Marquez. She will be in our class from now on, until the end of the whole school period, just like the rest of you. Do you see that empty seat right in the bottom? That's yours. Please take your seat right now. Today, we are going to do algebra, natural history, geography, Spanish language, physics, biology and philosophy. We are doing two hours of each subject, and we'll have lunch at 1 p.m. First, I'm going to go to the bathroom for less than five minutes. Please wait me here, and please respect our new student. Hello Dora. Welcome to the 5th grade classroom. How are you? Oh, hello. How are you? My name is Stephanie, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Stephanie. Well, you look a little bit nervous. I know that your first day in a new school should be infuriating and hard to understand. I know. This is my first day in this school. It doesn't seem to be as good as my usual school. But don't worry. It will be easy to understand with the pass of the time. I first felt that way, but I had to stand it. It was very easy for me. That's what I wonder. I anyways don't like the school so much since I came here today. Dora, 
You don't need to worry. I'm going to be very nice towards you and become your friend, so you can have a great day. Wow, thanks Stephanie. At least you are being kind to me. Thanks. Maybe you haven't met a girl like me in your former school, but you should feel thankful after meeting me. Yeah, I haven't met a great girl just like you after a very long time. But well, I think that you come here since you got expelled from your school for some reason. Yes, this is the main reason why I'm here. Oh, I'm sad to hear that. But I had a past life like yours. Which means that I caused trouble too, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. At least we have something in common. That means that we can have a really good friendship together. And since we are starting to be good friends, I am having a great idea to have a great friendship without worrying ourselves. How cool. That's what a great friend would do as the beginning of a friendship. But I think that I should talk about that plan when we have our first food break, because the teacher is coming right now. Alright. I'm ready for everything. Well, Stephanie, you were right. This school isn't as bad as I thought in first place. At least these vegetables are good. I knew that you were going to like it as much as I like it. The people here makes good food. At least we are kinda brave to vegetables. You are so funny too. That's the kind of girls that I prefer. That's way better than my former school classmates. It's great that we are being good friends in just the first day we met. And I like that you appreciate me so much. I knew you were going to do it. And well, since I'm starting to talk about this, I think I must talk about the plan that I was thinking on to do, so we can get out of the school and have a great friendship. Oh, of course. And what will the plan consist on? First, I'm going to throw a tantrum at the beginning of the next class, and then, before they send me to the principal's office, you will ask permission to go to the bathroom. After that, you will try to escape school without anyone knows about, and you will wait me outside the school entrance, which is the moment I'll get suspended. And finally, we will go somewhere we want, and have fun each other. And that's it for this plan. Wow, that plan should be very successful. We should go ahead on it right now. But Dora, I think that today is not the appropriate date to execute the plan, since it's your first day. It should be better to do it tomorrow at the time for our first class. Oh, okay. You are right. I don't want to have trouble in my first day here. I know, but don't worry. Tomorrow will be another day. Everything will be right. I promise. Good morning class. Today, we will do three hours straight of geography as our first thing to do. What? Geography? No way. I'm not studying that crap. We must do something easier instead of that shit. Stephanie, you know that you mustn't control the subjects that we are studying, so we are doing geography and that's final young lady. No. I told you that I don't want to study geography. That's a subject for stinky brainers. Just like PewDiePie calls to the people who are idiots and or losers. Stephanie, please behave right now. Stop saying insulting and unacceptable stuff, or else you will go to the principal's office. You know what? That's it. I can't take it anymore. You are the dumbest and meanest teacher in the entire world. I am going to do something absolutely unforgivable right now. Fuck 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 G R G R R G R R R G R R R R G R R R R R G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Stephanie Gavin, how dare you throw up a tantrum and throw your own desk away? That's it. Come with me. We are going to the principal's office. Fine. Please wait me here, everybody. Teacher, before you leave. Can I go to the bathroom, please? Okay, you can. But make sure to get back here before I come back. Mr. Eric. Stephanie just threw up a tantrum at the beginning of geography class, and she threw her desk away. Really? Oh my god. 
Stephanie. How dare you do that? That's it. You are leaving school in this moment, and you will have eight sheets of really intense homework for it tomorrow. Go home right now. Yay! We're out. Yay, 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 yay. Let's go and have fun all around the city. All right. Let's have fun until the day is over. What a nice day. I deserve a break after working so hard at school and making videos on my channel. I love to go to this park in my spare time. There's surely nothing that gonna ruin this day. Not even troublemakers. Wow Stephanie, that was sure a very nice day to do lots of things together. Of course. We are having a lot of fun today. And also, why don't we take a coffee at Starbucks before we go home? That's a good idea. Let's go there right now. Wait a minute. Are they Dora and Stephanie? Oh my god. I can't believe that they escaped school. That's it. I'm calling Nature Cat and Hell to catch them. Yum yum. I love Starbucks coffee so much. It was a long time ago since I last went to Starbucks to take a coffee. Me too. I haven't taken any Starbucks coffee in months. It is very great as always. You are right. This is the best coffee in the country. It's even better if two best friends enjoy it together, and there's nobody who can avoid us to enjoy it. Right, friend? There's the major cat. The two girls that left the government school this morning. I can see them too, Hal. Let's get them to the police to bring them back to school. Oh no. Nature Cat and Hal found us. What are we gonna do now? There's only one thing we can do. What is it, Dora? Right on. There. They will never catch us here. There. We have them. Let's go to the police department, so they will bring them back to school. Oh my god! I can't believe that Dora met a girl that is as bad as she already is, and she left the school along with her to have a better life so badly. Me too, Elena. Dora has gone very far this time. This is the ultimate thing she done in her life. I agree with you too. That's a really insane thing. At least, Nature Cat fanatic LPS hater, Nature Cat and Hal, have let us know about this. Anyways, this is unacceptable. I agree, Ellison. They will get what they deserve right now. Hello. I'm Brian. Here I have the two girls that left the school this morning to skip school and have a really bad friendship. Girls. Get out. Dora and Stephanie. We can't believe that you both left the school and go walk around the city when you weren't supposed to do it. That's absolutely insane of you. Since you both left a federal place, each one of your families will pay an $800 fine for this. Until then, you are going to school tomorrow as normal. You may go home now. Dora. How dare you meet Stephanie and left the school along with her? This is definitely the worst thing you have done. You are so evil. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine years. Go upstairs to your room right now and don't ever, 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 ever come out until you die. 
Stephanie, how do you meet Dora and escape school That's along it. with her? You were grounded, 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 grounded until Nature Cat Fanatic LPS Hater reaches 1k subscribers. Go to your room right now. Ah.